There's been uh, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions, conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here. Points of access hard to come by and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates. But regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. Well, the pre-match build-up has been fantastic. Now, Neymar! They want to be quick to recover this. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, there's no doubt as to who the creative hub in the side is. It's Mikel Ayazabal. He boasts some of the most impressive records when it comes to goals and assists, Peter, helped by the fact that he can play anywhere across that front line and also he has a real willingness to, to run beyond the strikers. And there's a lot to admire about this guy. OK, interesting. Mbappe, oh, shooting chance! Goal, Argentina! And it's Argentina in front! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. Argentina take the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Look, it's a, it's a run defence is dislike, but the timing has to be spot on. Bernacea. Becker. And he was quick to react. But it is clear to see that he is not at all happy with that. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. De Bruyne. Oh, the shot. Now the finish. Oh, taken with style. A quite incredible spell. They are flying. Just so calm under pressure, and he managed to fashion a fine finish. Messi demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. Argentina grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, that's really winded the opposition. You can see their manager screaming on the touchline, telling his team to calm down, but they'll need to do that pretty quickly. It's composure from here. Bops him off it and wins back the ball. Driving on and making good progress. He's looking to set free a runner. Argentina looking forward to the break after some very good work in the first 45 minutes. That's a shade optimistic. Galan. Into the final five minutes of the first half. Oh no, that was never going to make it. And here's Neymar. Tries a shot! Yes! And again, they simply do not know what has hit them. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, Peter, I think the keeper knew straight away he was never going to get to it. The goal scorer for Argentina... 3-0, and things are starting to look awfully cosy. Number nine, Subimendi. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So no shortage of thrills, no shortage of fireworks, but all very one-sided. 
We appear perhaps headed for a cricket score at this rate, unless there is a significant change in fortune. It is 3-0 at half-time. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Argentina are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Galan. Zubeldia. And Saharian. He's in plenty of space here. He's in space and looking for options. Cross goes in. Towering header. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Great leap! He's got a goal! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. So, just a great hit! It's in! And the lead is three! It is surely done! And that will surely go down as one of the easiest goals he could ever score. Yeah, it's mystifying that a player of his talent wasn't picked up sooner, and he picked them off instead. It's starting to look like a done deal now. The attendance for the match was 71,898. Now it's Neymar. Looking for options for movement. He's picked his way through. He's had a hit! It's in! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. So is this the start of a comeback? And we're not going to make any further progress now. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Number seven, coming on to replace him is... Oh, that's well done, really robust. The ball has bounced loose now. Merino. Pass somewhat off target. Traore. Zaharian for Merino. Becker. And the pass is intercepted. Traore. Merino. Neymar. Can he finish? Really well taken goal. Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. The goal scorer for Argentina. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Number nine. Argentina blast themselves into a three-goal lead. Number 12. Number four. Coming on the field. Number 14. Number 23, substitution, substitution in progress. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. And that has earned a reprieve for the time being. Merino! That is decidedly lacking.
And that's played it. And the shot! No mistake! There is a man right at the top of his game, and he just knows it! His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Neymar really can't believe his look. He was allowed so much room when he should have been boxed in. And there was his third, and boy, he looks the business, doesn't he just? Well, you had to fancy him, Peter. He seems to be growing in stature with every goal. It's become a case of men against boys. And things are much healthier in their favour. Mind you, you would have thought that when the last one went in. Six now it's Neymar. Has been indicated. Merino. Becker. And that's been intercepted. No unnecessary risks, and the game is petering out here. Now it's Messi. Now it's Neymar. He can run onto that. He's found the big chance! And he's missed it. Merino. And that will be the final act. Well, that was a shimmering, sizzling, scintillating game. The key characters glittered throughout and did what they...